home again to AA Home Gardening, guys. I cannot believe I'm about to say to you guys, I'm harvesting some Jamaican sorrel. <laughs> yes, I'm actually saying the harvest, guys. It's harvest time. Look at the size of these things, guys. The calluses are so big. Look at the size of those things. So there's loads. So I did harvest three before. But now I'm going to harvest a few to go in and make some tea. So I decided to make a video. So guys, we're only in July. <laughs> yes, we are in July. So now usually these are ready to harvest in December, Christmas time in Jamaica. But you know I started these super early, guys, because last year I did get them to form nice and everything. But it was too late. So I started it super early. So now I'm gonna have a harvest. So you know, with these, oh, they're so good, guys. I love to make tea and make drink with the ginger. But did you know you could also eat the leaves as well, guys? They're called red sorrel. So yes, you can eat the leaves as well. These are used to treat blood pressure. You know, anything that's red is good for the blood and also help purify the blood and everything. It's good to help with liver damage and everything like that. So I'm going to harvest them today, guys. Yes, I am. So usually these are ready like probably two weeks after the flowers fall off and everything. So this is nice and sturdy and stiff. So I'm going to harvest those. I'm going to save the seeds. Yes, guys, I'm going to save the seeds. So next year, I'm going to have my own seed from my own garden. Can you imagine that? Oh, yes. So we're in July. So I didn't have to wait until November, December to get some sorrel. I thought I won't be able to show you a harvest. It grows so lovely last year, but I wasn't able to show you the harvest. So these are the main two trees I'm going to harvest from at the moment. I have loads of smaller sorrel coming up inside here. And in the outside makeshift polytunnel as well. So I'll give you an update on those as well. So I'm going to go through and show you how I'm going to harvest these. So now sometimes some people let them stay on the tree so they're totally dried and everything. I want them plummy and nice and stiff. And then I'm going to go in and make some tea. So I just position the camera and show you what I'm doing. So I have my little clipper right here. And then I'm going to harvest the first one and show you guys. I'm having a harvest. Oh, guys, this is a tropical plant. And I'm showing you that I'm having a harvest in cold, cold UK. So look at this size. <laughs> this is massive, guys. This is massive. Look at that. That I'm growing here in cold, cold UK. So you can see inside of it seed nice and mature i'll leave some on the vine um on the tree at the end end and then let it go totally dry but these are mature seeds so these will be able to store as well so that's it nice and stiff you know sometimes i have these fancy instrument um tools i just put in to take out the seeds and everything i don't have enough harvest to worry about that so i'm just going to use my hand so i'm going to put that one aside and that's all i'm going through guys i'm just going through I'm taking off the nice fat ones. Yes, can I say that? Yes, the nice fat ones. So I'm going through taking off the nice fat ones. And then I'm going to brew and make some nice refreshing tea. And these love to be harvest, guys. So don't be shy because the tree will continue producing right up until the frost start falling. So once you see these and you want to harvest them, just harvest them. Once they reach a good size harvest them and the tree will continue to produce for you so just go through and harvest guys i'm actually harvesting sorry <laughs> so this is our first of my tropical fruit for 2022 that i'm harvesting so i'm just gonna go around and harvest the rest and then i'm gonna show you the end product this is the end products the end product of my harvest guys for someone living in a tropical region, this may seem like nothing. I'm like, oh, no, little sorrel. Don't worry, guys. I'm in the UK. So I'm happy because this is more than sufficient to make a cup of tea for me. So I'm happy. So this is my first harvest of my sorrel, my roselle or rosella. 
I just said I've picked off like three before just to test them how strong they are and everything but this is my first proper harvest and you can see guys they are really really good size and as you can see on the tree there's more coming up and the tree will just continue to grow and grow and grow and produce and produce and produce right up until frost then hopefully i'll have it into next season but most time it's just like a annual plant and i have to go back and plant it back next year so yes guys i'm super happy super excited that i'm able to actually harvest yes guys my jamaican sorrel here in the uk so i did it last year it was a bit too late i did it much earlier this year and i was totally successful so guys as i said previously you will not know what will grow in your climate unless you try it may not have worked for someone doesn't mean it cannot work so go out guys look at this size go out challenge yourself try to grow something that don't grow in your region okay so i'm gonna have a nice brew now and i'll see you next time so keep gardening tight guys take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell